I'd like to take a few moments to talk about the Woodland Park Zoo. It is both the best of zoos and the worst of zoos. It's the best because it's one of only 12 in the country to be listed as number one by the Humane Society. It's the best because of gorillas that live in a tropical forest clearing. And the best because giraffes, zebras, hippos, and antelope exist peacefully in an Africa savanna. But it is also the worst of zoos because of the elephant house. The elephant house is 60 years old. It is cold, it is drafty, and it is extremely small for the huge and wonderful creatures that live there. It's also an insult, if you will, to the elephants and the 750,000 people who go to the zoo each year to see them. Now, fortunately, the Woodland Park Zoo belongs to all of us, and there are things we can do to protect the elephants and to preserve their dignity. I'm John Marler, and I'd like to share with you a dream, a dream that can become a reality with community support. The folks at the Woodland Park Zoo and the architectural company Jones & Jones have come up with a plan for a five-acre Asian elephant forest. Now, that would provide 10 times the space the elephants now have. If you'll come with me, we'll take a look at what can and will be. All you need to do is use your imagination. This will be the entrance to the Asian elephant forest. Then you're in the world of the elephant. You'll be able to see the elephants roam free, and you'll be able to watch demonstrations of the elephants at work. Imagine what is now unkempt grass, underbrush, and native trees will be transformed. There will be lush tropical vegetation, painted storks, saurus cranes, whistling ducks, and comb ducks. They'll all inhabit this sanctuary. Here is where you'll come upon a Thai logging camp. You'll see how man and elephant have worked together for thousands of years. Woodland Park's elephants will take logs along skid roads and then actually stack the logs. Around the area will be a Thai village. In this demonstration area, you're close to the elephants, close enough to touch them. Next is probably the best part, a forest where the elephants will roam free. You will see no physical barriers. You'll be able to watch the elephants up close as they simply enjoy their freedom. Next, you'll come upon a serene setting. The plant life will be similar to a tropical forest. A rushing waterfall will be the only noise you hear. The birds and animals that inhabit Southeast Asia will be a part of the elephant forest. In a walk-through cage, you'll be able to observe little egrets, gray herons, black-crowned night herons, black-headed ibis, cotton pygmy geese, and wood partridges. The area will be alive with flight and color. You'll also encounter the shiny coats and compact forms of the muntjac, native to Southeast Asia, and you'll be able to visit with the small and winsome sun bear. The new elephant area will be a legacy for generations of adults and children who love to learn and who respect the beauty and dignity of animals, people who want the Woodland Park Zoo to be the very best of zoos. I'd like to leave you now with what will be, with your help, an elephant free to roam.